Okay, so you can see that I have started cutting out the aluminum square tubing for the frame. So plans call for 6061-T6, two by two by eighth of an inch thick aluminum square tubing. So I basically, there's a couple of cuts that are just square. So like this piece and this piece, you can see they just have nice 90 degree cuts. So I started there. The uh, top piece is also square cut. Um, and then once I laid those out, I kind of started planning for my angle cuts. Um, so the easiest way that I have found to do it is to basically use one of these angle gauges. So uh, the next piece I'm going to cut is this long one for the tail right here. And so uh, what I do is I can come and uh, measure the angle. So the angle that I want to cut, I'm going to line up with the straight edge of my aluminum piece and then line this up along the piece that it's going to butt up next to. Um, and you can also see, so according to the plans, this angle is 75. So this angle is 75 to this reference line. And then we are also can calculate the angles. So I have an 81 and a half degree angle up here. So that means I have an eight and a half degree angle down here. So that um, 75 minus eight and a half, I, I get uh, 66 and a half. And that, according to this uh, digital one right here, is exactly the cut. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it to um, the piece that I want to cut. And then we can go take it over to the saw. So I will mark that right now. And then uh, go ahead and take it over to the saw. So the easiest way that I have found to cut this aluminum is just with my miter saw. Um, I don't even really have, I probably could have even got a little bit uh, finer blade with more teeth, but the, uh, the one that I have on there works pretty good. Um, so using my uh, reference line that I transferred over from my angle marker, um, I lined it up and I can, I can double check too. So 90 minus 66 and a half is 23 and a half. And you can see that I am right in line with where I need to be. So I will go ahead and make this first cut and then we can take it over to the table and check it, make sure everything looks good before moving on to the next one. So as you can see, the uh, miter saw works really well. Aluminum cuts just like butter, but you can see that it's very messy. And I have my, sh my shop is full of aluminum confetti. So as you can see, I am 
right on my line. And uh, I'd say that angle is pretty, pretty close. You know, what I can also do is use my gusset and just uh, make sure everything is aligned. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but uh, everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to move on to the next cut. So it looks like we have 110 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out and cut it. So another convenient thing about having my gussets laser cut beforehand is that I can use them to mark the angles that I'm going to cut. So I basically measured the length that I need it to be according to the plans. And then I can take this gusset and line it up and uh, mark my line exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so we have made some good progress. We have all of the aluminum square tubing cut out. It's all lined up. You can see that I have laid the gussets over everything just to double check my angles. Um, all of my joints are looking good, as good as I can get them anyway. And so uh, the next step is going to be to start drilling the holes for the gussets into the square tubing. Um, you can see that the holes on the gussets are gonna go right down the middle of the square tubing. Um, so let's talk for just a minute about what gives the gusset strength. So um, at some point, we are going to have to deburr everything. Um, so when you, when you cut metal, uh, depending on how fast you cut it, um, there gets to be a little bit of a burr on the edge. Um, so what I have here is called a deburring tool. And what you basically do is just take this and kind of run it along all of your edges. Because um, what gives your gussets and your joint strength is the clamping force that it has. So when you put bolts in through here, you are squeezing two sides together and putting a lot of pressure on these gussets. And it's this friction between the gusset and the square tube that gives it a lot of strength. So if I have a lot of pressure on here, I have a lot of friction and my aluminum tubing isn't going to want to rotate um, or move at all. So we need to get rid of the burrs because sometimes um, when you cut, you have a little bit of a ridge there and it doesn't sit perfectly flat. That ridge kind of holds the gusset off of the square tubing. So at some point, we're going to need to deburr all of our cut edges, all of the holes before we do a final bolt together. And we're also gonna want to kind of sand down uh, a couple of these scratches and make everything nice and smooth. So uh, next video, we will go ahead and start drilling holes in our score tubing using our gussets.